good morning everyone it's Anetia Fairy Dust Nails and uh, this morning I want to do a special shout out to if I pronounce it correctly it's Kanilwe she wanted to know how you do these nails so this is specially for you my girl enjoy so let's get started easy peasy nail to do not that difficult we are going to use on a prep nail of course I'm using the elastic cover which is from Planet Nails I'm going to give it one coat this is of course after you've done your base and your normal prep work but this nail is just from Nalia she's just my training hand I'm just using the bulldozer method at the cuticle you'll see I'll take product and push it right up to the cuticle this is what you call the bulldozer method it's like you're getting behind the gel And then we will cure this. Then we'll be putting on the second coat. We'll cure this, and then that is when the magic is going to start happening. Great. Now this is when you take, I'm going to use for this video, it's a Blossom Gel from Glam Pro. Um, it's the only one I have, but you can use um, a Blooming Gel from any brand or the brand of, you know, the product you use. But what we're now going to do is, remember, a blossom gel or blooming gel you've got to use kind of sparingly because we are going to use two coats of this and of course the liner gels like the white and stuff that we're gonna put in here okay. so there we go we've put a thin layer of blossom gel I'm just gonna take one of my very thin liner brushes just keep going. Here we go. I've got it. It's a very, very thin, tiny little brush. Okay. I have got on my little, I call it palette plate. I've got the gel that I've put down as the base. I've got a bit of a darker one. And then I've got my white. Now with a blooming gel on here, I'm going to start taking a little bit at a time. And just draw a very thin line down here like this and you can push it around and play with it because none of these things are actually even And then of course you just give it time to run. I'm just going to take a little bit of the darker one and just for the contrast put a little bit in here and there. And now you've got to give it some good time just to see 
settle in there and run. You might just think now, oh, but it looks so stripy, you know. You're going to make it look softer. Don't worry too much. There we've got it done. Just give it time now to, to settle with a blooming gel. going to give it a little bit of time just to settle. Now we're going to cure this. Okay, now the first part of it is done. What I'm going to do is take my elastic again that I've put at the background. Take a very, very little bit on your brush. You just want to soften this a little bit. So you're going to put a layer over. Now, as you can see, it looks a lot softer. It's not that starky white color that's on the nail. So we're gonna cure this as well. With these many layers that you put onto a nail to get the effect of that see-through-y kind of a crystal effect, please make sure that you cure your gel properly. Even if you leave it in, it depends on the strength of your own lamp, but I would rather suggest that you leave it in a little bit longer and make sure that it's cured properly because you're going to put, I think, about six layers of thin, thin, thin gel on this nail to get the effect. So let's see, this is cured. Can you see? It looks a lot softer now. What we're going to do now is again take a thin layer of blooming gel or blossom gel very very thin I'm gonna take a little bit of my white very little bit on your thin little brush now we're gonna try and mimic the little crackles of the this background and now you will even go in the opposite direction than what you started because there will be different kind of cracks everywhere this time it's going to be very sparse and thin and small lines you basically just gonna touch this onto the nail and if you're battling with it to run you can just take a little bit of your blooming gel or your blossom gel as mine is called and run it over that It's like you're going to give it some veins now. Leave it just to settle a little bit. And then of course we're going to cure. Okay, now for the last little bit. Take your elastic cover pink again. Very thin, very little bit on the brush. You'll see, just touch it every here and there.
and of course here again and that's it okay so the last little step that we've got is I'm gonna because you've put many lines and blossom gel on there you'll feel that it feels a bit rough so what you will do is take some of your gel wipe off solution of course just wipe it a little bit and now I'm just going to smooth it out. You don't want these bumps and uh, uneven, you know, nail for your client. So what you will do is just buff off the uneven little parts, which is absolutely going to give some more effect to this nail. Without your free edge of the nail shape. For your top coat. Let's put it on. I will put a revealing picture at the beginning as the thumbnail of this video and also at the end of this video. Can you wear? I hope this helped you a lot my girl. Um, I really like sharing all my knowledge with you guys because one of these days A few years hopefully I will have to retire but um, I share as much as I can there we go top coat is done we're gonna cure it um, and I'll put it in the picture as a thumbnail at the beginning of this video and also at the end Bye everyone, Kanilwe, I hope you enjoyed this. See you guys later. Bye bye.